everybody, this is Marcus from Yeah Country. I'm continuing my series on Google Earth. In this episode, I wanted to cover some overlays you can import into Google Earth. Stuff like topo maps, game management units, um, ownership boundaries. So you can find these uh, these files kind of littered all over the internet, and they're denoted by a .klm or a .kmz. They're essentially the same. The only difference is. A KMZ is a compressed version of a KML, so there's usually more data in a KMZ. Um, so just to kind of show you guys what what I use, these are the three primarily primary overlays that I use. Um, so, and I will post links up to at least these ones that I use for Colorado but you can find find them for pretty much any state um, a lot of them, most of them are free there's also some some more fancy ones that uh, like GPS maps that um, show you private who who owns what land even on the private sector this this gives me an idea of public land what can I hunt what can't I so I have shown here this is a free KMZ file from um, BLM and it shows you you know what's Forest Service what's state land BLM land of the whole entire state so I can zoom way out and I can see everything So I use that to kind of tell, kind of help tell is this public land, is it private land. And then you can hide and show it as you just check them off. GMUs, so this one, um, in Colorado they're called game management units. So here I can see I'm in GMU 15. Uh, you know, if I've got an over-the-counter tag where I can hunt multiple units, it's pretty important. As I click, just left-click in any of these areas, it'll tell me what GMU that is. And as I zoom out, you can see borders. You can see these red lines in here. Those are all different GMUs. So, um, the last one which I use the most is uh, a topo map so and it kind of renders kind of slowly so bear with me my internet's been acting up a little bit um, <clears throat> so I set up this lat this uh, kind of fake hunt in my previous episode um, I drew a path along the trail, just eyeballing it. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I draw, how I would draw a path with the topo map. So as it renders here, see right here is my trailhead. I can click on the BLM. I can show the BLM land. And I can see, yeah, this is public land. show my topo map and I'm going to create a path I'm just going to call it hike in I'm going to start right here at the parking area and you can see the trail right here the only problem with the path is you got to pan up here and now I can get a much better idea of the length and the elevation profile that it's going to take to hike in if I want to get to my imaginary camp up there. So here you can see it, it looks like a river crossing. So I could hide uh, my topography or I can just 
say I'm going to take this drainage up and cut across this saddle. So um, you can get a really good idea of what is it actually going to take to get into an area. Let's zoom in here. Yeah, that's probably not an area I want to cross. Maybe it is, I don't know. That's probably not a hill I want to climb either. But anyway, um, these are the main overlays that I use. Again, um, there's a lot more out there. The internet's littered with uh, useful stuff. Um, I have in the past also imported uh, paths. So you can import paths as like a KML or KMZ file. I've done that for an entire uh, National Forest Service. So anyway, um, check out my blog and my website, yakcountry.com. In the next video, I'm going to kind of go over <clears throat> how I pick an area to check out and how I use, you know, place marks and look at the terrain to kind of determine where the elk are going to be or where I think they're going to be. Um, so, yeah, how, basically how to use Google Earth effectively to scout. Thus far, I've kind of been showing the different features you can import into it and the different settings. So, anyway, thanks for watching. God bless. Happy hunting.